It's hard to imagine my lovely friend Luciana Paluzzi as a villain. But in fact, she was the first true villainess of the Bond girls, playing the irredeemably bad but wonderfully sexy Fiona Volpe in Thunderball. It was a role even Luciana never expected to play. So I got a call one day and they said, we want you to come and uh, do a test. So I arrived in London and I tested for the uh, leading lady, the, the good girl. And then finally they called me and they said, we have good news and we have bad news. And I always like to hear the bad news first. <laughs> so I said, what are the bad news? And they said, you didn't get the role. Oh, I was like, oh, it's just my heart sank. And he said, but the good news is that you got the other role, the role of the villainess. And I rejoiced because actually I thought that that was more fun to play. You would like Bond there. I can think of no better arrangement. Oh! I shall kill him. You were not supposed to play a real villain. You were supposed to play a Bond version of a villain. How far do you go? Very fast in your safety belt. You could let go and be really nasty. No! Ah! Don't let her make so much noise. No. Use the chloroform. Luciana's character did everything Bong could do. She could drive fast, she could shoot to kill, but she was at a most dangerous in the bedroom. Do you like wild things, Mr. Bond, James Bond? <laughs> wild. You should be locked up in a cage. I remember that we had that day, for some strange reasons, maybe because I was in bed with Sean, there must have been easy, easy 50 photographers on the set <laughs> as we were shooting that scene. And he would hear the click, so they would say, stop. So finally they decided that we were going to do the scene for them three times without the camera rolling. And then after that, they were thrown out of the set thrown out. They were asked to leave when thrown out. Luciana was filled with stories about her experiences during the filming of Thunderball. But what surprised me was not what happened to her during the shooting of the film, but rather after its release. To do a Bond picture, it's a blessing, but it's also a curse. Because when I went back to Italy, the directors, they were the Fellinis, the Antonionis, the, the ones that were really important, the Viscontis of the time. They didn't want to have anything to do with me. They, uh, they loved me. I knew them all, and they were all very sweet and very nice. But when it came to do one of their pictures, no, because it was like a, a comic strip. Well, you can't win them all. Well, I worked for 27 years, so I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs>